Okay, this is one of those don't try this at home videos. Let me make this a little bit bigger. So this is, this looks like I've got the same DFA as I've always had here. Um, you may or may not notice the difference, but I just want to show you um, a problem that we have with this DFA. Um, let's suppose that I want to um, test the string. Let's do an input um, step by state again. And let's try and test the string A, B, A, A, B. All right. And let's run this. And let me hide the state labels. Um, so we're at state Q0. And we take a step. And we have that first A, right? So we should stay at Q0. So let's take a step. And sure enough, we're still at Q0. And now we the next letter to process is a B. So we're going to go to Q1. So we step, and we end up at Q1. And now we need to process an A, right? So that's going to take us to Q3, actually, our trash state. Maybe I should show you those labels, right? Um, so let's, let's process that A. Let's do a step. And now we're in here. And now we see another A. And if you look at our, at our DFA, it looks like we should just take this loop again, right? Because we have A and B on that loop. And if I try and take a step, it goes red. And it says, I'm stuck at Q3, but I can't move anymore. And you think, oh, no, of course I can move. Look, I've got an A there. What's your problem? And the problem is, you've probably seen this already, right? Because you were just watching the videos and you know what the problem was. But just in case you don't know what the problem is, the problem is that I made a mistake and I wrote A comma B here instead of putting in A and B as separate transitions. And so it thinks that there's something weird going on, and that is an A comma B transition. And JFLAP doesn't care. Remember when we created this, we said we wanted to make a new um, automaton, and we didn't say it was going to be a DFA. They just have one, um, one kind of automaton. Um, let's see. Oh, look at that. That's staying up there for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but we wanted to, we just get one choice of automaton. And we're going to see that there are other kinds of automata which you do not have to have um, out transitions for everything. And so this just thinks there's some weird A comma B out transition. So let's, let's start by quitting this window. And um, sorry, I don't know why that's there, but it's just going to be there forever, I think. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, that's just a Windows yuck. Maybe you don't see it and I just see it, right? Do you see me when I wave my mouse over here? Is that a problem? Um, or do you just see blank and you're thinking that Dr. K sees some weird stuff? Well, maybe I see weird stuff. Maybe it's just my screen. Um, exciting, huh? Anyway, so what we need to do is we need to um, click on the deleter and let's get rid of that. And suspiciously, we got rid of it in one click, right? And let's go back and um, let's add some transitions. I want from Q3 to Q3 on A and from Q3 to Q3 on B. And now if we try and do a um, step by state on here um, with the input, what did we have before? We had A, B, A, A, B, I think. And I say OK. Um, and as we step through it, we have an A, then we go past track, we process the B, we process the A, we process the A, we process the B. And you can see that it is processing this transition as if it has just an A or a B on it, right? Um, it's two, two transitions, one with an A and one with a B, not this weird A comma B thing. Um, and the last thing we can do if I get rid of this again, is let's just make this, um, let's turn it back into that A comma B. Um, and let me show you what's going on here. I click on that and I write A comma B. Um, and we go to our um, input again and let's do a step by state. We can say, um, uh, it was A, B. Um, well, let's just have the, the, the string A, B, A, and then I'm going to say A, comma, B. 
and I think we should end up at Q3. So let's see what happens because it's going to take this A comma B as sort of some really weird single character. So I'm going to say, all right, well, so first I'm going to process that first A. I'll step. I end up at Q0. Now I'm at Q1, which we're going to transition down to Q3. And I think this A comma B is just going to be taken as one step. Look at that, right? It just took the whole thing and it's back at Q3. Weird, and there's good reasons why they do that, but um, but doesn't help us very much. So I'm going to hit step again, and now it goes red. So do not, do not, do not put commas um, in your transitions, right? Bad, bad, bad. You always, always want to create a transition for each character that you want. You do it separately.